Hey, hey, this is Teresa with One Mother and One Daughter, and I'm here to do my very first video for Love Summer Arts. Now, most of you are already following the love, hashtag Love Summer Arts uh, four-day event that we have going on here. But since I do a whole bunch of things on my channel, from crafting, I crochet, I do polymer clay, I do pens, uh, I do just... Uh, DIYs, I do a whole bunch of things. I decided since it's called Love, Love Summer Arts that I would do something summery to go along with it. So I decided to alter these shoes. These are Payless shoes, which are cute enough, but my one problem that I have in an area where I live is that if you see someone with something, I mean, if you get something from a store, you see everyone with that one thing. Since it's summer, I thought that I would alter my my sandals and these sandals are cute like i said they came from payless and i'm a, a plain kind of person i don't like a lot of colors serena sit down serena sit down sit down sorry um and you know i like a plain kind of thing so i did get the black but i wanted to spruce it up and make it different from other people's shoes just in case they bump into me when i'm the same shoes on so this is my little spruce up now i use what i had on hand because we as crafters do that I, and you know me from if you know my other videos i i'm not buying a whole lot of things i want to use up what i have so all you're going to need for this is um a few things you're going to need some lace which is about 17 inches of the color of your shoe or the color that you want the lace to be you're going to need some ribbon the color of your shoe or the color you want your ribbon to be and then you're going to need in my case i wanted to use a center for my flower and my bow that matched my the design on my shoe can you see that so it has these little designs all the way up and all the way around let me show you better on the other shoe so this is the other shoe. And these Teresa Collins, what are these? Um, faceted gems and pearls. So these faceted gems, the black ones, match perfectly. So I'm going to use two from there. One big one for the front and one little small one for the bow. And you're going to need your hot glue. I haven't tried the shoes yet. I just wore them around the house so I wanted to do this and I guess we'll learn and see the thing that I wanted that I thought about with the hot glue is that when you're when you either want to change your style or you don't want that those accessories on anymore you could just peel it off without like really hurting the shoe other than you know like with the e6000 or some gorilla glue you know will leave a mark so that was that's what made me use the glue. Oh, you're all gonna also gonna need something to um some good tough thread for your bow and your ribbon. And in my case, like I said, I'm using what I have. I wear weave sometimes and I have some weave thread. And I tend to use that for my crafts because especially if it's something dark, it hides the color and it's really, really strong thread. So you all probably already know how to do this. So I'm just going to start it. And what you're going to do is use your needle to gather up the lace so that it comes into a circle. So I'm going to start it and show you how you do it. You just go in and out like a running stitch. And this is, this, I want this side, so I'm going to do my running stitch on the opposite side. And just take small pieces and go in and out. It's a running stitch. You don't have to be precise. You don't have to put the, each in and out don't have to be the same measurements. You just want to make sure you go in and out. So I'm going to do this since I don't edit. Y'all know I don't edit. And I'm going to come right back to you and show you how it looks when it's all in and out. <laughs> all done, okay? Okay, so I'm back and I went all in and out through my whole 17-inch lace. 
and that took about a minute and a half i just didn't want to bore you all with that i should have did it in real time so you can see that this is a really quick craft so i'm gonna pull it through go to the other side where i originally started and just take my needle through that way i form a circle with my straight lace so let's pull it until we get it I'm gonna put it down so you can see and now it's formed a flower to keep your flower held and no one will see you're just going to take and go through the center a bunch of times and i like to secure it because you don't want your ribbon to come apart while you're wearing your shoes again and one more time okay one second serena wants to get out So just one more time, let's just secure it and then we'll cut it off. And that is it for the, for the, let's pull that through, cut it off close. See, I got a little loop there, but you're not going to see that. Okay. So let's remove some of the dog hair. You don't want that in there. And then we're going to take our... faceted gem from Teresa Collins or whichever gem that you will be using and I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to burn my hair I'm gonna put it in the middle I find it better to just hold them back a little bit that way you can just get like a nice little dot in the middle and don't do like I did on the other shoe see some it's coming off too fast the gym has adhesive on the back, but that won't be enough to hold it for a while. So put your gym right on top of your glue. Spread your little flower back out and press your gym down. Now, did get a little glue on here, but no one won't know that unless they look too close. Okay, so there is the gym in the middle. We're going to set that aside and I'll show you how I made my bow. I use this little bow maker. And all you're going to do is make yourself a bow, however you do it, whatever is good for you. In my case, I'm using, you figure out the size that'll be close so that your bow won't look really big on the back of your, your, um, on the back of your ankle or your heel. And you do your little bow. I might as well show you how to do it. You're going to do your bow. And then you're going to sew in the middle of your bow. Okay. I like to make the, the tips of, of the bow go the way I want it to lay. So that's what I'm always trying to do before I tighten it. However you make your bows, just make a cute little bow. Tips go the way you want. Cute. Burn the ends so that they don't unravel. Now from the back is where you're going to take you're going to turn your bow over and you're going to sew that knot that's in the middle of your bow and that's all you have to do you're doing that so that your bow doesn't come a loose and there you have the bow then you're going to take one of the smaller faceted gems and you're going to put it in the middle and in this case i have the bow already and i want this to be the front so I'm going to take a tiny bit of glue, 
Sorry about that. And you're going to take your little gem. Don't worry about the strings right now. We'll go back and get that. I burnt the crap out of my hands a few minutes ago. So I'm going to try not to do that this time. Okay. Okay, so there's the little bow. And now we're going to take that excess glue off. So can you see the little bone? I'm waiting for it to dry so I can get the rest of that glue off. Okay, so there's a little bone. So now let's move all this stuff out the way. Bring in our flower that we made. And here's the shoe. And we're going to put the bow on. I don't want to put this shoe on my table because I've already worn it. I don't want to get outside on my insides. So the bow goes right there like so. And I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the bow. Not on the shoe. And place it on the back where I want it. And it's right on the elastic, and can you see the elastic still moving? Turn your sandal around, and for my sandal, there's a little gap right there. Can you see? And that is where I am going to place my flower. So I'm going to put a little glue right there. My glue could come on. Okay. And I'm going to place my flower there. And take the strings off. We don't want to glue strings on us. And we have two cute shoes that don't look like anyone else's but our own aren't they just darling so go and check out the other hashtag love summer arts and see what everyone else is doing uh, i decided to do my whole theme for this new hashtag as summer items side of uh, summer summer accessories and i think it turned out so cute and it doesn't have a lot of bling. And if I don't want this anymore or I change my mind, I could just pop it off and it doesn't really leave the glue, the the hot glue behind. Because you know hot glue just peels off. So again, this is Therese or one mother, one daughter. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And come back tomorrow to see what else I do. Woo! -hoo! I'm loving this. Hashtag love summer art. Thanks.